Express. We are actually in quarantine. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is our response. We are finally in quarantine and we want to just tell you guys about the quarantine process. <laughs> again to um, precious corner all right as you can see the background and everything I'm no longer in Ghana where I base right now I'm in North Cyprus okay North Cyprus is um, another part of Cyprus you know Cyprus is um, divided into two one is from the Turkish side and one is from the Greek side so I'm actually at the Turkish side which is not Cyprus and it's under Turkey. That's where we are right now. I'm here with my friend Maron K. Dagu, my name. <laughs> she loves to call her full name, so you can actually call her Maron. <laughs> all right, so we actually came from Ghana. We went through all of the processes together, all of the hard time. We went through all of it together, and today we are finally in North Cyprus. We are, we are actually in quarantine mm -hmm. yes this is our wristband we are finally in quarantine and we want to just tell you guys about the quarantine process on another video we're going to be telling you and showing you our trip a vlog actually about how we left ghana to istanbul and to ekan finally and how we came home to our quarantine center to be um to just get it straight okay we we have um like um three options where you can do your quarantine one is the government quarantine which is a little bit expensive and we also have another one where your school for my school there's an option where the school can actually give you a dorm to do your quarantine for the 14 days like two weeks if that's what your country needs all right depending on the country you come from the dump the, the school can do that for you and the last one is actually the home quarantine and that's where we are right now we are at home doing home quarantine we are going to talk about these three kinds of quarantine but for now i just want maron to tell you guys about the quarantine process if you are in any african country wanting to come here after going through all of your applications and getting your acceptance letter and paying your school fees, the next thing you should be thinking about in this corona times is quarantine. So let us just tell you how she went through her quarantine processes, payments and all of that. Hear it from her. Okay. For my process concerning quarantine, I paid my money to my agent who was responsible for my schooling year. I paid the money to him. He did the registration. But first of all, you have to do your COVID. Before you can fill in any form, you have to do your COVID, which is the PCR test. So then if that test is done and you have done the payment for the quarantine, then you have to fill in the form of your information, which is that information you will use if you get at Istanbul. So after the payment is done, you have, if you fill in your information, they call it other pass. Other pass includes everything about you, I mean, that is the QR code they will use and scan and get your information if you get this year. So, after I did the payment, if you make the payment, they, they issue you receipt. The receipt has a code. Besides the receipt, the other pass which got your information, I mean everything about you, plus the QR code which have all your information also too i mean you use them at air camp it's not used at istanbul so those information was in my phone when i got at air camp 
they requested for those information which was my receipt and the app that I told you I downloaded, which is the COVID car app. Yeah. So when In I got at the app. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay. Then the account. Mm -hmm. That's the app. <laughs> so when I got at the waste bay agent, she asked for the app which I downloaded on my phone and she went through the app, scanned the QR code which included my address that which I was going to be quarantined and she gave me this waistband which track your location, whatever place that you live and the rules is you are not allowed to leave your quarantine if you leave your quarantine location you will be charged 10,000 TL. I mean, that money is too, so, much, so much to pay. Like so, or so, why would you want to violate such rules or so you stay in quarantine for 14 days? And besides that money you pay, they return how much is three what's that? 350, 350 TL after the yeah. quarantine. That's when you submit your wristband back to the authorities. Yeah. So, they issue that amount back to you. So I think that is all for the current thing. And one more thing we need to talk about is the SIM card issue. Yeah. The SIM card issue is compulsory. You are forced to buy SIM card at the airport, which is um, um, 100 TL, which is 17 USD. Yeah, yeah. 17 USD. There's because there is no Wi-Fi yeah. at the airport. There's no Wi-Fi so. for now. So before you even do your wristband, you have... You need a SIM card in order to connect. That's why even on the Ministry of Health, um, the Ministry of Health um, site, they always say you need a phone with internet access because that's what they use to connect you to the app. Right. So it's always good to have so cash on hand when yeah. you are traveling. Yeah. Because very you, might important. Not, you might not have money very to important. pay for the SIM card. Very so important. it's good to have cash on hand. That was all my experience for the quarantine. Okay, so that's Myron. That's what she went through. That's how she went through her processes. And because we are together and we did the same thing together, so the experience is not that different. It's almost the same. Yes, right from Ghana, you have to do a PCR test. With all the other parts in the Govidel car app we are talking about, you need your COVID test in order to sign into these apps. Mm -hmm. All right. So, given that you are coming from Africa, and your PCR test has to be seventy-two hours in order to be valid, as in when you arrive in Ekan, so you don't need to do your test like two days before travel. You might be late there might be some delays and then you have to be in Istanbul for some time and if you get to Ekan and your PCR test is more than 72 hours you have problems so the best time to take your test is um, a day before you travel yes that's what we did that's that was the advice we got from Turkish Airlines mm -hmm. that we should they advise that we do our test a day so that we we'll have ample length of time on our side so when there's any delay in our travel it doesn't get to affect us so we went through that we did our test um, a day before our travel and then the part that got us marveled you don't really get your test on time and you know that you have to do your other parts and your your stay safe app I don't really know how to pronounce the Turkish too well so I'll be using Stay Safe app. It's the same as the Guvende car app. So just know that in English it's called Stay Safe app. So we had to do this app, and that was that's that's one of the important things because when you don't have your code from the app and you've not filled in your other pass, and other pass is basically um, just a system where the government of North Cyprus used to. Um, have for your information. Like information on COVID, like your COVID test has to be in it, your address, your number they can access you on and all of that. It's just your basic information to the country. So whenever they see the other parts, they have 
at least a bit of information sure, about you. It. So it's important. And also the app is something that you have to do when you are doing home quarantine mm -hmm. because you are not under government control. They right. use the app to yeah, get so they use the you. app to track you. So these two things, if you don't have it, my sister, my brother, you are not going to be allowed to enter the That's plane. Awesome. Or even the plane at the airport, that's what yeah, they ask sure. for there. So I guess the line asks for that because they don't want you to come here and be stranded. Yeah. Alright, so they are gonna ask for that. It, I, we saw people that even missed their flights yeah. because they they didn't they couldn't produce the code on time. Alright, they were at the airport, they couldn't produce the code on time, so they were they, they missed their flights and it was so bad. So we were so worried mm -hmm. we wanted to do our app and we got we got the the results very late the next morning, the next morning. but still we had and pay, doing the payment you cannot do it on your own yeah you have to send the money yes, to it's someone much that easier is, yeah. for someone who is in cyprus so to do, do it, it for you yeah. so anytime you are coming if either you have an agent or you also know someone Some, yeah you cannot just come just mm -hmm. like that doing that payment for the app is so complicated unless you have someone here yeah, yeah. Alright. Unless you have someone here. So as far as we're so lucky, she had an agent. I also had a friend here who did that for me. Mm -hmm. I paid into the person's account. The person um paid for me and sent me and did the whole processes with me. So and you also need a number. That's why most people didn't know they were using their own numbers yeah. and they were complaining. Uh I, I put my number, it's not going You through. need a number you for You need yeah. a Turkish number. That's why you need an agent. Mm -hmm. Okay, or if you're lucky, you know someone mm -hmm. here, it'll, they'll give you their number so you can access the app. Otherwise, we keep trying and trying and trying. All right. So someone did that for us and a friend. We were so lucky. We went through everything. We, we obtained our code. That's the last part of the app. You have to have a code that you show when you get to Istanbul. Okay. In Ghana, from your home country, actually, they don't really they need your thing. Yeah. It's just Turkish airline. They want to be sure that when you mm -hmm. get to Istanbul or Ekan, you won't have any problems and you mm -hmm. start calling them and all of that. So oh. they try to make sure that you have that. But you start to need those things importantly mm -hmm. when you get to Istanbul. They are going to ask for it. Where is your yeah. other pass? Where is your um, code from the safety wow. app? Mm -hmm. And when you show that <coughs> with your original document, you, you are, are good safe. to go. Mm -hmm. Yes, then mm -hmm. you start thinking about mm -hmm. Aircon Airport. When you get to Aircon, you get to show your COVID test, mm -hmm. but that doesn't count because you still have to take another COVID test. <laughs> yeah. So, don't think you just bring your COVID test and you, you are free. Oh, no. But the good part is that COVID test you take at Ekan is free of charge. Yes, you don't have to pay anything. So after taking your COVID test, you now move to the passport section. They check your documents. They check the COVID test one more time, like the one you just took when you got to the airport. They make sure that you are negative. And then when you show your original documents, you are good to go. So when you get out, the next thing is a SIM card. As she said earlier, without a SIM card, you are stuck at the airport. Without money on you to buy a SIM card, you are stuck because there is no Wi-Fi. We heard there used to be Wi-Fi. I think they are trying to promote their local businesses and trying to sell to us. So they disconnect. Imagine if every passenger would would have to buy. Yeah, SIM they are making card. so much money. So. When you're coming, you have to make sure that you have your money for SIM card. And you, you, you are so lucky because you have us. We are telling you the price is 100 TL, almost $20, like $17. So just keep that cash on you for your SIM card. All right. So when you get there, you have a choice to make. You have two SIM card, two um, cell companies. We have um, Vodafone and Stop and Sell. And Start Sell, yeah. That is the two same. You can decide which one you want to use at that point. They're going to help you. They'll register you. The SIM card, put it in your phone, and then you're good to go. The next place you get to go is to collect this baby right here. That's the next step. All right. So when you get Very there important. and you have your code on your phone, 
you just show it to the agent that is there and they are going to do everything for you they're going to connect you and then they will put it on your hands okay so when it's on your hands you are okay and you are good to go to your home quarantine like we said we are doing home quarantine, quarantine. if you're doing government quarantine you don't really require this wristband mm -hmm. you're just going to pay and it's so much money oh. 640 no, I USD I okay like yeah 640 USD yeah, yeah. that's what all right so if you don't have that money there's, there are other options all right for mm -hmm. my school from their side they're saying you get to pay you pay for the wristband all right which is 750 TL almost it is three dollars and you're also going to pay for their dump which is two hundred dollars all right so that's cheaper than the government that is if you don't have a house people are always saying you need a contract okay that's one issue and yeah before we came we had a whole lot of information that you cannot quarantine with someone they're going to ask for house contract yes. at Istanbul, but to be frank, we didn't get to go through those things. No. We were not um, required to show a house contract. I think the process was okay. It was okay for us because other people came out and they said they asked them for house contract. But as at the time we came, which is 9th October 2021, if you're watching this video, try to look at the date. Because for North Cyprus, information changes on a weekly basis. basis. Yes, we might have gone through certain things. They might not have asked us for house contract. But that's just what is happening at this point. They didn't really ask people for house contract. So all we did was just to write our address. They don't yeah. want to know whether it's your house or it's not your house. All you need to do is just write your address and it should be an address that you're going to so if you're going to quarantine in a friend's place mm. all you have to do is just ask the person please can you send me your address because that's what you would need to be writing on the forms that they're going to give you even on the app when you are filling in the app you have to put the, the address that you are going <coughs> to because most people say that they don't come to check mm -hmm. yeah we know people who went through quarantine and there were no officers coming to check. Yeah. But they checked on us just yesterday. Yes. All right. So you just have to be on the safe side. People might tell you, okay, you can put another app, another address in the app and go to another mm -hmm. place. But what if? That was what I was told. Yes. That's what we were told. So mm -hmm. assuming she put another address and went to another place and then they came home checking for her what she gonna do you know so everybody's situation are different but it's so important to follow the rules once you follow the rules you are good to go all right follow the rules they are tracking your location so you have to put the exact location where you are if you don't want to find or face any problem all right so when we left the airport, we needed, obviously, um, transport to get to mm -hmm. our quarantine location. They don't really give you an officer to follow you to where you are going. Mm -hmm. No. You just you have your wristband. The app is still working. There's a place mm -hmm. on the app where they tell you that when you get to your location, you have to verify your location. So, yes. so confirm. Yeah, confirm your you location. Are. So on the app, this is the app. Can you see? Yeah, this is how it looks now. We are in quarantine, so this is our status. This is it. You know. So when you are coming home, all you need to do when you get home, you, there's a place to verify your location, confirm your location that you have actually arrived. Then they start to track you from where you are. All right. That's the last thing. So they leave you to go. You don't have anybody following you anywhere. You just take your transport. There are a lot of transportation there. Um, there is um, they have a taxi, yeah. yeah, and they also have a bigger bus, like a van, a little mm -hmm. van, where when you have a lot of things, mm -hmm. you can use that one. Maybe you are two or three traveling together, you can use that one. It's much affordable than to take so many taxis to bring you guys to the same location. So when you get there, 
if you have to take a taxi transport to get you to your location and the final step when you get here you confirm on the app you confirm your location on the app and you are good to go you get to be home born like as we are we are so bored yes we've been here we've been here we didn't have um, time to record this video we have been in yeah. quarantine for almost five days now yeah all right we, we were we were busy trying to put our documents together and stuff like that so mm -hmm. we decided to give you guys this information today first hands down information mm -hmm. from us here in north cyprus so we are currently in quarantine and this is the quarantine process yes we are how do you feel how is quarantine for you how have you been able to go through this past five days hmm. I think it's okay because I mean you have more time to read, uh, look at books. I mean, go to your lesson, email agendas, and many more. You have more time to do that. It's two weeks, so it's just that I mean you cannot leave this location. You have to be in house all day, fourteen days. Yeah, I really, I really wonder about those who. Are in their own apartment about getting food, yeah. getting basic necessities for themselves. If I you come with an agent, someone helping. Yes. Yeah. If you come with an agent, they can do that for you. They go out get your snacks and food and whatever you need at home. Mm -hmm. But we are lucky. We are with a friend. We are quarantining. I think this is the so, best way to be quarantined. Yeah. With <laughs> you. <laughs> you don't get to take it. like they are always going out. They always leave us at home. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just want them to put me in their pocket <laughs> and take me out. I want to see. I can. I cannot wait to see the place. I cannot wait to explore and see what is out there. For mm -hmm. now, all we do is just look through our window. Yeah. <laughs> we see the place from our window, so yeah. it's kind of boring. But it's mm -hmm. also a time you use to um, get acquainted with um, your 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 notes you can mm. if you have somebody who you know who is doing the same course as you are doing you can start to study you can even prepare for your mm. english test yeah sure yes you can use this time to prepare for your english test read 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 about north cyprus mm -hmm. learn turkish yes learn turkish learn a little turkish <laughs> like how to say hi how to say thank you how, to how are you how are you i'm fine Yes, we're going to be teaching you what we learned in quarantine. <laughs> the little Turkish yeah. we learned in quarantine. So that's just about it. Thank you for watching us ranting about our quarantine experience. We'll have more videos coming up for you. Always check out the channel, Precious Corner. Maron Daku. She loves her name and that's the lady Maron for you. <laughs> You're going to see how more times with me. We'll be doing this together. Mm -hmm. and we're just gonna be feeding you information you know people mm -hmm. get to give a whole lot of false information especially when you are eager to come somewhere people use mm -hmm. it against you the right information is so important for you so always visit this vlog we're gonna be giving you the right information, information. It was nice talking to you guys. Till we meet again right here on Precious Corner. Goodbye.